Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Benjamin and today for you guys I'm going to be unboxing the Sumo Multi-Capsule Coffee Machine. So this is a brand new machine I just purchased recently and I'm going to be unboxing it for you guys. Uh, this is compatible with two capsules and coffee powder. It's compatible with the Nespresso capsules, the Dolce Gusta capsules and the coffee powder. So um, this is a pretty good deal, I got it at a pretty good price. Um, it, is, it has 19 bars of pressure, it has a 600 ml water tank, it has 1450 wattage power so you can use it um, wherever you go. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the box. So this side is obviously a red machine and this side is a black machine. The one I've purchased right now is actually a black machine. And uh, me and my family were all like big coffee lovers, so this felt like a really good purchase and it, was, it came at a pretty good price. So um, here's all the details of the coffee machine. Um, on this side you have what all the machine comes with, like what are the components, the parts of the machine. So um, why wait? Let's cut to the chase and I'll get to unboxing right now. So as you guys saw from that unboxing, uh, we have the machine, this mysterious white box and um, an instruction manual and uh, we have this to show us how we have to put the capsules in and use it for the various different types of coffee. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. So um, well, there's a lot of plastic. So it opens from down here. It's pretty heavy, it's a pretty heavy machine. It's not light or made of like cheap plastic, it actually has some weight to it. So here's the machine itself. It's um, it's a really nice color. It's black and it has um, this really how do you explain? It has like a sticky matte finish to it. And um, yeah, there's obviously a drip tray. Um, oh, this is nice. There's kind of like um, these uh, rubber suction feet that actually stick to the surface, so it won't like slip around or you know won't be moving a lot, it will be in position. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, the sticker, we're gonna be doing a peel. So uh, let's do that. There we go. So uh, after the peel, there are a few things to talk about. Um, obviously, one of the main things I wanted to talk about is that this is not a 110 volts machine this is actually a 220 volt machine so um, if you are purchasing this just be just make sure of the voltage as to the country you're living in so you can you know have make the best out of the machine because obviously if you put a 220 volt machine in a country where you only get 110 volts it's not gonna work but uh, anyway out of that um, let's get into the machine itself so here's the water tank I'm guessing this is where the water flows through when you put it in. Um, there's some stuff inside this, so we'll check that out. So next we have this curious piece of plastic. I actually didn't know what this did at the start, so um, I had to go through it and find out what this actually was for. And surprisingly, this has its very own little manual that tells you what it is for. So, 
when you start the machine for the very first time, the pipes inside are actually dry, they don't have water in them. So this basically, it's kind of like a syringe you could say. So it comes of two part, a piston and a pipe. So this pipe is um, what you put into the machine for the very first time and you actually fill this with water. And once you fill this with water, this is used for pushing the water through the machine. Because since the pipes are dry, you have to make the pipes wet before you can actually do anything with the machine. And uh, this can also be used after you have not used them, after you have not used the machine for a long time. And it will help to restart the machine basically. So uh, yeah, that's the function of this little contraption. So um, here is the water tank itself. And uh, this is where you fill the water for the machine. Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned before, but in case I didn't, this is 600ml, you can fill 600ml of water in this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the water tank. And now we're going to be getting into this uh, curious little white box that's been bothering you and me. And I have a pretty good idea of what's inside, but uh, I'm gonna make sure, so let's take a look at it. So um, inside the white box, we have, I was right, we have the adapters for the coffee machine. So I'm guessing these are um, probably like the capsule ones, could be wrong. Um, so here are the two, um, two adapters, they're wrapped in their very own plastic, so we're gonna be opening them. Adapter number two. So, um, I say we get into it. So here is the first adapter, very curious looking. Um, this adapter is for the, for the, the ah, this is for the Nespresso capsule. You can see because it's um, it's a much thinner radius than uh, thinner diameter than the Dolce Gusto one. So you can tell this is for the Nespresso. And uh, yeah, it closes like this. So guys, here are the two adapters. Um, this one is the Dolce Gusto one. This one is a, this one has a pretty big diameter. So you know, this is the Dolce Gusto one. And uh, this is the one for the Nespresso. And uh, the Nespresso is um, it's a small capsule holder right there. It goes into this. I have a Nespresso capsule right here. So uh, this actually fits um, right in there and uh, you close it this way and it actually puts like these small holes on this and you can use it so um, this is for the Nespresso and um, here I have my Dolce Gusto I have Espresso Extra Crema from Escafe Dolce Gusto so we're gonna be taking one of these capsules and um, yeah right here so uh, this capsule actually uh, goes in the holder this is a very simple process it just goes in there, finish. And uh, you can have your very own Nescafe Dolce Gusto Espresso. And um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. And um, since I'm talking about adapters, let's talk about the one that actually came with the machine. This is the, um, this is the coffee powder adapter. So uh, basically what you do is, you open this little lid over here. So once you open this lid, you will be um, greeted with this metal plate kind of thing it's kind of there are fine holes in it you won't be able to notice it from this distance but there are actually like really fine holes in it and um, so what happens is when you put the coffee powder and um, as I told you before this right here is used to compress the coffee powder so this actually goes in it fits in like this and you can push the coffee powder in so it gives more well, intensity and froth and crema so uh, when you actually process the coffee through the machine it will drip out of this hole right here this little hole and it will fall onto the drip tray so um, this is the coffee powder adapter and um, yeah that's pretty much it for the adapters so guys now that we've seen everything this box comes with I say why not get to some coffee brewing so um, obviously Nespresso, Dolce Gusto, coffee powder and we're going to be doing all three right here for you guys. Uh, you guys thought I'm going to get to the brewing huh? Nope. First things first you always got to do what you got to do. So um, I have this tool here and I'm going to be use it. I'm using it for injecting the water into the pipes 
and um, I have kept a cup here just in case some water drips out. Not just in case, actually, it's gonna drip out. So um, I'm gonna be putting this right here. This is actually where you put the water tank. If you notice in the water tank, there's like a little little thing over here, and this is where the where it goes into the hole for the water tank. So we're gonna be putting this in that hole, and um, we're gonna be filling this up with some water. So uh, once we fill it with some water, if I don't pour too much, that should be quite enough. So uh, now that I poured some water in, um, some water is gonna tend to splash out, but that's okay. It's a coffee machine; it's gonna happen. So um, now we put this uh, piston into the into the plastic pipe, and um, so basically what it's gonna be doing is it's gonna be circulating water throughout the machine. And uh, this is kind of an important step for the first time because um, it's gonna keep the pipes wet so that when you actually brew coffee, it's um, it's gonna be fine. So now that I've completely put water through the pipes, uh, we're gonna be removing this. And uh, yeah, it's gonna work well now. So um, yeah, let's get into the coffee brewing, guys. So guys, I just uh, circulated some water through the system and um, the water tank. So this is gonna go right here. There's like a small cutout here. Make sure you don't put any water outside using this cutout because this is actually where it goes onto this small hook like thing here. It goes in and uh, it kind of slides into place and uh, you will hear like a squishy click kind of thing when this nozzle goes in so that's when you know it's fully in and um, yeah let's get to the coffee brew so obviously power button first so once you turn on the power button it's gonna be red and the sides will blink blue for approximately 45 seconds this is to say that the water is being heated and while the water is heating I'm gonna ask you guys to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys like the type of water or not I'm trying my best to find things that you guys will actually enjoy watching and um, yeah, it's pretty much what I'm trying to do here. And anyway, the water has heated now and you would know the water has heated because everything is uh, glowing static color right now because before the cups were actually blinking blue, now they're static blue. So um, yeah, so these two buttons on the side actually denote this, uh, this denotes that the cup, it's a smaller cup and this is a larger cup. Obviously this can be for any coffee, it doesn't have to be a co particular coffee size. So a very important thing you guys should note before we actually get into the actual coffee brewing is you always must put an empty, an empty adapter into the machine and um, actually drain some water off first. This is a key step because this part of the machine is going to be dry. Um, so we put our cup in and uh, we're going to be uh, draining the water. So um, let's just click the large cup and um, let's drain some water out. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. So as you guys you see here, there's water being filled and it's actually pretty hot. You can you can see some steam come off the side. And um, yeah, it's filling in. As you can see, the water is not that clear because the machine is brand new and there's gonna be some filth and grime within the machine. But that's gonna go with this first wash, you could say. So, um, first cup, done. So, uh, this is what you have to do the first time you buy the machine. Obviously, you have to clear it and uh, make sure the machine is usable. So, um, yeah, now the only thing left to do is get into the coffee brewing. But before I do that, I'm going to talk about this drip tray because I'm pretty sure I didn't talk about it. So, obviously, two cup sizes means two different heights of drip, drip trays. So, you know, the way you remove this is you pull up on it and you pull it out. So, um, there's kind of like a hook on the side, you can notice over here. So, this kind of goes in at this angle and uh, you can push it down and that holds it. And there are two levels, this is for the large cup and this is for the smaller cup. So, so and uh, this is um, detachable, so you can clear it out, you can clean it out easier. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now the only thing left to do is get into some coffee brewing. Hey guys, this is Benjamin. I really appreciate you guys for tuning into this video, watching it throughout the end. 
and um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please consider dropping a like and sub into the channel as it would help me out a lot and guys don't forget part 2 of the sumo coffee maker video is coming out in 2-3 to three days so stay tuned for that this is Benjamin signing out hope you guys have a great day